that the molecular solutions method in this video we will solve the problem 2-1-3-9 from rc ballot and dealing static square addition according to this problem we have to determine the design angle theta that has to be less than 90 degrees between the two struts that the 500 lb horizontal force has a component of 600 lb directed from a towards c what is the component of force acting along member BA? To solve this problem, let us mark the forces along the members. First of all, we have a force directed from B towards A. Then we have a force which is directed from A towards C. Now, we could form a parallelogram from the given force members. Now, we could form the parallelogram from the given forces. Like, we could draw the projection of FBA force. We could draw the projection of FBA force like this. Similarly, we have, let us mark it first. Similarly, we have a force, projection of the force FAC directed from A towards C. Now, let us mark some angles. This angle right here is 20 degrees. Because it is alternate to that angle. Similarly, this angle is theta. Because it is alternate to that angle. Now, if we consider triangle. A, C and O, let's call this point O, consider triangle A, C and O, then we can apply the cosine law against the vertex A, so we have F, B, A is equals to the square root of F, A, C square plus 500 square minus 2 times FAC 500 cos twenty degrees. We know that FAC is equals to six hundred LBs. So we have FBA is equals to two one five LBs. Now let's find the angle theta or theta. Let us apply the sine law. So we have sine theta divided by 500 is equals to sine 20 degrees divided by 215. So from here we have theta is equals to 500 into sine 20 divided by 215 and take the sine inverse of the whole so we have theta is equals to 52.7 degrees now this is our second answer so this is it for this problem
this is our first answer this is our second answer so i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for daily updates and if you have any question or you any doubt about this problem you can ask it in the comment section and i will answer it as soon as possible thank you